here, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Hey, uh, hey, you're Chuck Wagon. Yes, and you're Santee. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Very cool. Yeah, I'm here at Old Tucson, by the way. Um, I got a question. Yeah. Can we do something on cemeteries? Cemeteries in the Old West. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like today, towns in the Old West had a cemetery. In Tombstone and some other towns, they called it Boot Hill because some of the folks buried there died with their boots on. Typically, this was common in the more violent towns and referred to men who met their end in the path of a bullet. In rural communities, you would see a lot of homestead cemeteries, essentially where families would bury their deceased on their property. Usually, a grave marker was put up with wood or stone to mark the plot. Also, the headstones were set up facing west, so if you were to sit up, you would face the Lord for the second coming. The whole bury them six feet deep thing happened during the plague in the 17th century, and it was their belief that it would keep the disease from spreading if they buried them deeper. By the era of the Old West, that rule was lax, and it appears you only need to have the body covered with up to two feet of topsoil. By the way, not every territory followed the same rules on this matter. Here in Arizona, we have some very hard ground, and the process of burying folks six feet under was a huge ordeal. Therefore, you often see a pile of rocks on the grave to cover the bodies. I assume this was to also keep the animals from making a meal out of the demise. Ew. That didn't stop grave robbers, though, who were evident everywhere in America. But we'll go into those miscreants in another episode. So, when I get to visit ghost towns out here, there's typically not much left to see. The earth has claimed many of them, with the exception of their cemeteries. In some cases, the individual graves have been kept up by descendants, which is truly amazing to see. Towns that survived the era and continue to thrive may have moved their cemeteries to make way for progress. You left the bodies and you only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! When I went to go visit Bill Brazelton's grave, I was told they couldn't find some of the original grave markers to determine who they were relocating. What? I've got no headstone? I'll fix that. Well, it wasn't just Bill. Frank Stillwell, the ambusher ventilated by Wyatt Earp at the train station here in Tucson, is also missing. Tombstone's boot hill has been turned into a tourist spot, but is very well taken care of. The markers have some fun epitaphs that help us to understand that Victorians had a pretty good sense of humor. Well, nightfall is in full swing at Old Tucson Studios, and the public is happy to pay to be chased down the street by chainsaw-wielding zombie clowns. However, I'm the train guide again, and no doubt the only non-psychopathic character in the whole park. I appreciate all you viewers for bearing with me as I try to tackle comments on top of the research and editing during this time. Thank you. <laughs> hey Dan, what's up? Hey Zandy. Yeah. You know, I heard what we were doing this episode on. Cemetery, yep. Yeah. Graveyards. Graveyards, okay. Same place. Yeah. Okay. I thought I'd help out by writing some epitaphs for you, for your tombstone there. Oh. Um, here lies good old Santee. Dirty Dan got sick and tired of working for free. <sighs> you know, that gives my name right up there on your tombstone. Yeah, because I need you on my tombstone. So. I knew you would want it. Here's another one. So that was not good enough. Here's another one. The angel of mercy delivered its kiss. When you're in that gunfight, you shouldn't have missed. Okay. All right. Um, that it? We done? No. Uh, one more. No. It's all right here. Here lies Santee. He's good and dead. Must have been that 44 that went flying through your head. All right. You know, you see a little light coming through here. I'll see you later, Dan. No, wait, I got like hundreds of these. Come, why are you always walking away? Come back here, come back here. Folks, please, like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and we'll see you on down the trail. Can I go now? We good? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll just write a big list of them okay. for you. You can sure. pick the one you like the best. Thank you, that's thoughtful. Well, sure, no problem. <laughs>